So everybody used to give Mona Scott a hard time. But out of all these producers, she seems to want, be the one now with the most sense. Let's talk about Carlos King, who I feel is not a producer. You're also a YouTube blogger, okay? These people, they, they, they denounce us. They say, ooh, I'm not a blogger. Let, let me talk about he's not a blogger. Yeah. Well, how do you even get recognized if you're not a blogger? You're a blogger. Y'all messing up blogging and you're messing up TV shows. I feel that uh, Carlos King had a good thing with Love and Marriage Huntsville. And he did a really good job with it. Then he went, it went to his head and now he wants to be, he calls himself this, the king of reality. So I want to. Yeah, Sherelle is playing Carlos. So, so hey, family, welcome to the show. I wanted to come back and I want to do a little commentary on, of course, Messy King. And Sherelle is tearing him a new one, okay? This is the second time. Let me pull my mic a little closer to me. This is the second time that Sherelle has called out Messy King, okay? She seems to be fed up with him, child. I thought they were friends. I don't know what's going on with this situation. Maybe he burned her. I don't know. Or maybe she's just sick of the fact that he didn't came over here into our world, okay, as YouTubers or bloggers, whichever you choose to call us, and he thinks that he is something, you know, he's something special, and, you know, he's the king of blogging now, child, even though he said he ain't a blogger, but it looks like to me that Sherelle is fed up with Messy King. That's what it sounds like to me, but let's listen to some more. Go to uh, we and I want to go to oh oh no not your Carlos hat the king <laughs> and Perry putting on a, a crown right remember when Carlos had on that that little king crown child that he was wearing Perry is such child Perry is such a fool he is funny but let's go on <laughs> and now you want world dominance wah wah. <laughs> world dominance because enough is never enough i have to be the best i have to be the king of reality tv when you focus on world dominance you lose your purpose and you forgot you have a show to produce you could be giving us great entertainment like you did for the first couple of seasons of love and marriage huntsville it was real it was raw it wasn't Fake made up storylines. I can then see fake made up storylines now. See, the world knows what the rest of us know and what we have been saying. So now that this is coming from Sherelle, like I said, she seemed to have been on his side, hotel side. She seemed to be listening to child. Whatever was been told to her, she was drinking the Kool-Aid, okay? And she thought that she knew what she was talking about. Now, we do know sometimes Sherelle talks and she really doesn't have the full story. Something has changed that now she has changed. I don't know what it is. I don't really care. But I like the fact that she is calling him out on his shit, okay? Like the rest of us have been doing. I said this before on another video I did in reference to Sherelle. Yeah, we know how Sherelle is. But the fact that she is calling this out and she has 505,000 subscribers is a good thing. Because us YouTubers who are still small, we don't have the reach that she has. So I'm glad that she is calling this out. I'm not saying that Sherelle ain't in the mess and, you know, and wasn't against Mel and all of that. I know that, okay? So you all don't have to tell me in the comments because I do know that. But I want you to look at it from this perspective. It is getting a bigger light shined on the whole situation, okay? And what we have been saying, and he's being exposed. She is exposing him yet again. So this is the reason why I wanted to cover it. And what she's saying this time, you know, what she's been saying recently is the truth when it comes to him. Before, you know, she was over there child i don't know what it was i don't know if she was caping and covering or what it was with her but whatever it was in the beginning we know it was a bunch of lies and i felt like it was a group of people that was intentionally feeding information to youtubers in reference to melody and martel making it um making it seem like melody was the problem so i'm glad that she is speaking out and as long as she speaks out i'm going to cover it okay so let's go on nobody was mad at you as in the cast members what's wrong 
with Lemmy and Carlos, you get a chance to really make a difference and you blow it. Yeah, well, Lemmy, horny. <laughs> Carlos. So she's also talking about, I think his name is Lemuel. He is over there with that Zeus network, that messy ass network. Now I've said this before, maybe Messy King need to go over there and create some network similar to that because his shows ain't too far off from over there on Zeus network. And I feel like that's the real type of content he wants to do or producing that he really wants to do. Why don't he just step in the same type of lane and do what it is that he seems like he would be good at? Because to me, all he does is produce shows where people are fighting, mainly women are fighting back and forth amongst each other. That's what it seems like to me. And in my opinion, his shows is not that far off from a Zeus network, except for these are older women. Okay. Thirsty. Carlos is thirsty. Carlos is. She called Carlos thirsty. Ooh, child. Messy King, she called you thirsty. You gonna have something to say about that? You gonna go strike her channel? <laughs> the way you struck, you know, the smaller content creator channel, I bet you won't do that. And I guarantee you, he ain't gonna say nothing either, okay? Like the coward that he is, he's not gonna say anything. He's gonna ignore what she's saying, he's not gonna address it. And heavenly, okay, hellishly, Dr. Hellish, why don't you come out and say something and defend your boy like you've been doing? Why don't you reach out to Sherelle and say something to make her, you know, or to convince her to say something different? Because you were the one that was defending him. And now that Sherelle is calling him out, I don't see any bloggers saying anything to defend Messy King. Hmm. When we were talking about Messy King as small YouTubers, we had these bloggers running their mouth, okay, and the people on the show running their mouth. I don't see anybody disputing anything that Sherelle is saying. Very interesting. No, I'm just keeping it real. Like, and, you know, it is what it is. Because like, you got Lenny, you know, you talking about sleeping with uh, Bobby. You both... Carlos King, you have a chance to save Love and Marriage Huntsville, but you're more worried about world dominance. I want to be on this show, this show. And well, listen, you could have multiple TV shows on the air, 10, 20, however many you want. But if the ratings are low and nobody's watching it, catch on. It Messy King, Sherelle is calling you out. She says that you're a jack of all trades and master at none. That's pretty much what she's saying about you. What you got to say? That means nobody wants to watch and you're not doing a good job, okay? You're not mastering anything. And the one show that was bringing in the views and that was, to me, that renewed or revived your reputation as a producer was Love and Merge Huntsville. But what did you decide to do, okay? You decided to go against the person who brought the show to you, okay? The person that um, everybody was going against, you decided to join in. That's my opinion, Messy King. I feel like you put a battery in these people's back and you decided to join in in their little games. And now what is happening, Karma and Dama has spent the block on that ass. And look at your shows. They're all failing yet again. We're not the only ones saying it over here on uh, Love and Merch, Merch Huntsville side, the YouTubers that carry that show. But now you have... Sherelle saying it and other YouTubers have said it as well. Okay, but Sherelle is really blasting him But let's listen to some more cuz I'm rather enjoying this. What do you all think? Now I know Sherelle has her issues child, but let's just focus on what she's saying about messy king right now Okay, let's just enjoy the moment It's not worth it. Go back to the show that made you stand out on your own give them some love and then maybe you can start saying that you're the king of reality TV. Until then, and when you have to give yourself a name, maybe it's just a lie, Carlos. <laughs> Sherelle said, if you're the only one calling yourself that, that's a damn lie, okay? You know, my mother used to say this thing, that if you have to shine a light on yourself, you're trying to convince yourself and others that's what you are. OK, so you don't have to shine a light on yourself if you really are what you say you are, because others will do it for you. And yes, he gave himself that name. Yes, he did.
and he gave himself Messy King too. And I prefer Messy King. At least with Messy King, we can see the fruits of his labor and we can see how that title does truly belong to him. Maybe <laughs> you're not the damn king. I mean, Perry, wait, 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 Perry, Perry, Perry. Well, yes, Sherelle, he is the king. He is the Messy King, not the reality star, or the reality king. He is the Messy King or the, what did he say? King of reality. Child, I can't even remember it because it's such a lie. He's not king of reality. He is the messy king. He's king of mess. So he is a king, okay? I'm going to crown him the king of mess. What are your thoughts? Jarrell, see, maybe you overthinking it. Maybe you said, won't you go back to your show and, and do all this? Maybe he can't go back. Like Russell Simmons can't come back here. Oh, you are messy. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I, I don't have no messy. proof of it. I'm just saying. People move in different ways. Perry Peeps understand what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. just glancing in. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But when you see people making moves, like, well, I wouldn't be doing that if I was you. You get to dig a little deeper and figure out what could be the reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe he know he's on a short list, uh, a leash over there, and then trying to pivot because he got bills this year, he gonna have bills next year. So, uh, Perry, when he doesn't focus on his show, he's producing trash. Oh, cow. Did Sherelle just say he was producing trash? Well, I'm going to have to agree with her on that one because that is exactly what is going on. Now, we were told that this show was going to be black excellence. It has been nothing but mess, fighting, confusion, lying, fake storylines, honey, criminals, child, oh my. Just so many things that is the total opposite of black excellence. Excellence, which in my opinion, I'm going to have to agree with Sherelle. It is trash. Okay. Not that everybody on the show is trash because what we know is Melody is trying her best to turn the show around and she wants us to watch the show. But just because Mel is trying to turn the show around and she's doing her part doesn't mean I'm not going to recognize what the truth is. And the truth is, all we see is bickering and fighting. And we see a man that's on the show who should have been taken off the show, hotel that is, who has continuously decided that he's going to go after his ex-wife. They have been divorced for how long now? How long have they been separated? And we keep seeing the same sorry-ass storyline over and over again. If he's not attacking her, his friends is attacking her. We see a bunch of people on the show who we never see what they actually do. We want to see the buildings being built. We want to see the lawyer lowering me, okay? Child, I know that ain't a word. I just said it though. We want to see all these things that these people are supposed to be doing that they are not doing. We don't want to see grown people in their 30s and 40s bickering and fighting and can't get along acting like children on the playground. So in my opinion, I agree with Sherelle. It is trash. Now, family, I wanted to bring you this because I wanted to talk about this to shine a light on what is being said about him. Tell me what you think in the comments below. OK, I want you to tell me exactly what you think about this situation. And do you agree with Sherelle? Now, before we go. Of course, I'm going to have to remind you about the one-on-one -on -one YouTube training and the ebook that I have in reference to becoming a content creator. You can be a content creator and come and get some of this money, honey, okay? So if you want to become a content creator, please reach out to me. I am um, reachable at DeSilvaTalkShow at gmail.com. I will put it up here so you can see it. Send me an email. I'll send you information in reference to um, the one-on-one -on -one training. And right now I am running a special, okay, for Women's Month. I'm running a special and it's going to be you purchase the ebook and you'll have a one-on-one -on -one training session with me. And if you decide you want to take more one-on-one -on -one training, you can. You can come back as much as you would like to come back and I'll help you start your YouTube channel. Come and get some of this money and start another stream of income for you and your family. Child, if it's just for you, still come and start you know, a YouTube channel. You can talk about anything that you want to talk about. Now, don't forget, go down in them comments, like those comments up like you always do and tell me your thoughts about what Sherelle said and do you feel like that Carlos is producing a trash show let's talk about it in the comments and I'll be coming back with another video soon bye family you do to make me stay now it's
Like you don't even try I used to wonder why But now I'm left with no more tears to cry I know that life can be busy, love But you make time for the ones you love It's so Right, it's what I deserve. Love, tell me what you're doing. 